Hey folks, so it's Tony from the Tech Firm. We're going to capture packets from this router on the WAN interface. So this guy is going to capture our packets. It's a good old ProfitTap IOTA. I don't sell them. Please don't ask me for pricing and support. You can contact those folks for it. So what you do is uh, we're going to plug this guy in. The reason why I'm showing you is because he actually can run off PoE. So off this switch, we've got PoE. And that's used for power and for management, which is obviously good. And the second thing is we're going to plug it in line. So I've got this cable. These ports are kind of just sitting waiting for me to do something. I'm going to pull up the WAN connection. I'm going to plug it in here, like so. And then I'm going to plug this guy back in there. And there you go. The lights are going crazy. So obviously it's working. I'm not going to get into what those status lights mean. It's not an IOTA class or a sales pitch. Don't care. So it's in line. It's going to capture stuff. And then from my management port, I can sit on my computer and review the traffic coming through the WAN port. There you go, folks. Make sure you know your tools. Hey, folks. It's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. In a previous video, me, I configured a firewall rule for my Ubiquiti Edge Router's WAN port to block all access to the VPN on the router to IPs outside of Canada. So I showed you how to do all that. It's in the video. I'll put the link there. And now I followed up by looking at the log. So in Ubiquity, you can just cat the log. It's uh, slash var slash log slash C-H-A-R-O-N dot log. And I grepped it for the keyword of initiating. And you only see the connections that are trying to get set up. And sure enough, there's an IP. And this IP, I did a look up, it's in the UK, so it's not supposed to be communicating with the router. I double checked using the IP set command in the router, and that is not in the allowed list of IPs or networks. So I'm concerned that my router's trying to talk back to it. It's not supposed to, but that's what's supposed to, that's what's supposed to happen, is that it talks to the router and the router just drops it, but I wanna find out what it's actually doing. So I cranked up the IOTA, which I showed you I showed you at the beginning of the video, I connected on the WAN side of the router, located this time and date, and sure enough, there it is. So I can see uh, the communication between the router and this device. So with IOTA, if I just click the download button, it downloads the PCAP and G file, and you see it in Wireshark. So in Wireshark, I can see that IP from the UK trying to talk to the router, and the router does actually respond, which I don't like. I didn't think it was going to do that. So in the original uh, write-up that I did for the geo IP blocking, I had a source group. So I've added a destination group now. So it's anything from or to Canada to see if I can resolve this. I'll let you know in a future video if that actually worked. Have a good day, guys.